Okay, this is Ken Uger, Department of Education again. This is video four. Uh, in video three, you should have learned how to navigate the graphics and modify some of the points. In this exercise, this video, we're going to do some troubleshooting with with those um, those things we just learned. Uh, so. I'm going to pick this unit for here. So, say you want, you know, you have come up to a unit and you want to test how it's working. Um, you can do that with the automation system. You can turn it on, turn it off, and, and watch things happen. So, the first thing on this one, you know, you want to know if the fan is truly working or not if your CT will come on uh, when you turn it when the fan command comes on so we will come over here and right click on the value for the fan command it's off right now I want it to be on so I'll we'll backspace that out of there type the word on there disable it and this, then push OK at that point, the fan should come on. There may be some delays on your equipment that doesn't instantly turn this on. The smarter, the bigger equipment, they, they have some delays on there that uh, even though the command is instantly on, the status doesn't instantly show up. So in this case, we can see that the CT made, so it proved an air switch or a current sensor or something and you can see the motion of the fan that's going on. You can also see the status came on and so you can see the discharge air and the room temperature and the set point. So now we want to test let's test uh, let's test the heat first since it's already up there. Uh, we can disable the cooling because we don't want that to come on when we're working we'll just disable that it's already off that is the value that we want it to be um, and I'm going to I want to test stage one heat see if it see if it's truly working so you go to that value you can either go to this value on the graphic or you can come here. Uh, like I say, all graphics are not the same, but somewhere on there, if it says the fan and it has, uh, it's an output, I guess you wouldn't know that, which one it was, unless you programmed it. But uh, it's listed under outputs here, so we'll turn it on. Do a right click, it'll bring up the box. First of all, well, let me show you what happens if, if you don't disable it. If I turn this on and say apply and it's still enabled, I'll apply and OK. It turned it on. You didn't see it because it's just a, a millisecond command, but the program instantly turned it back off. So the program, if you do not disable it, it's not going to do what you tell it to do. So again, we're going to click on it and right click. We will turn it on and disable it and push OK. At this point, that should come on. And we have a graph, we have some dynamics. It just shows that the heat's on. But what you want to look at, if you don't have any of that, you want to look at the discharge temperature. Let's see if it goes up. And it, it will go up slowly because this is electric heat. But if it's working, you should see the discharge temperature go up. Alright, went to 75. And it will continue rising and rising if it's truly on. 75.3. 75.4. So you know that the room temperature is 73 degrees by looking over here 
So what's whatever's coming through the return is 73, and it's heating it up two degrees so far. A little more, so you know you can watch it for a longer period of time, but you can see that it's going up. It, it satisfies me that it's truly working. So now let's test stage two. Let's turn this off. Okay, that turns stage one heat off. Let's go to stage two heat. Let's see if it's working. We will disable it. Doesn't matter if you turn it on or off first and then enable it. Doesn't matter if you do this first or that first. Um, as, long as, you, as long as you have them both set before you say OK or apply. So now we'll turn stage 2 heat on. So although the discharge is still hot from the first one, it should go up even more from from this if stage two is truly on. Starting out at 79, it's going up pretty quick. So stage two, in this case I know is like a double size the first stage, so it should go up quickly. So you can you can pretty much say that the fan works and both stages of heat work for this one. Alright, let's go back. Let's test the compressor. It's the same scenario. We got both stages of heat turned off manually, disabled, so they'll never come back on unless we unless we enable them a little later. Uh, since the compressor is before the heat and it's not getting that 104 degree discharge there, we'll, we can turn that on. That should bring that down. It's already disabled. We'll turn it on. Push OK. I don't think there's any indication that the compressor's on or not. And there's no visuals. But you should see the discharge air temperature drop down pretty quickly. And as long as it drops down below the 73.9, you know it's just not return air coming through there that's uh, causing that to drop. So it's dropping, dropping, dropping. All the values on the graphics here are dynamic, so they update uh, once a second or so. So they will change as the, as the conditions change. It's still dropping. Maybe you should have done compressor first, huh? Let's uh let's shorten this up a second. Well I paused this and was waiting for the discharge air temperature to drop further and further, but uh this is one test where you can see that the compressor is on. Discharge temperature is still higher than the room temperature, so the room temperature is probably is what the return temperature is. So it's not really cooling it very effectively. So in my opinion, this would have a compressor failure. You can see that the outside air damper is off, so it should not be having any effect on the discharge air temperature. If it had any temp effect, since the outside air temperature you see right there is 50 degrees, it should be cooling down if it were leaking or something like that. But you can see that it's, it's coming down, but it's not very fast. So that's, that's one way you can, again, diagnose your, your systems. So let's turn that, let's enable that again. Let's turn it off, actually. So on this one, we know the outside air work, or the 
heat stages works, the cooling works, and the fan works, we have one more output that we can use that we're going to test, and that is the outside air damper. Yeah, this is a two position damper on this, so it's on is open, off is closed. Um, so it's 50 degrees outside, so if we open that 100%, we should get at least start dropping some outside air. I don't think it's 100% outside air on these, but if we turn them on, it's already disabled, push apply. You'll see that the outside air dampers change positions. It's on, so hopefully we'll start. You know, the actuators have 30 second stroke on those, so you got to wait for that to happen. But if those are open and the discharge air goes down, you'll know that the outside air dampers are truly working, they're open. And they're it's dropping slightly but not very fast so like I say it's 50 degrees as opposed to 73 in the in the room. You typically wouldn't expect it to get 50 degrees on discharge, but you would like to see it get down to in the low 60s anyway. That'll at least tell you most of your outside air is going in through there. But once you see if that works or not, you can you need to release all these points back. So go back and enable these. Again, they will go back to their whatever the programs are telling it to do. Like I say, if you don't turn them loose, they're going to stay that way. If you turn the heater on and leave it that way, it's going to be at hot. So, this is just using the graphics. There's better ways of doing this, but uh, if you just got one or two units to do, this is a easy way to do it. You don't have to get into the other modes of operation for these things. Other things you can do, you can simulate what happens when you turn it the occupied on, uh, disable it. Like I say, you can manipulate any of these points in here and see what happens. This point should come on, that means the fan should come on. This simulates and puts the whole program through its paces. So it came on, the fan comes on, the heat or cooling is going to do what it needs to do. If you want to test it through the programming, drop the set point low or, or make it go high to make it out of bounds of, you got, we got a two degree dead band for ours. You just want to make it 75 or 68 and uh, that should bring on the heating and the cooling. That would simulate the same things that you just did too. So from this graphic, manipulating these points like this, you can do a lot for diagnosis of, of the equipment. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, this is video four, and we will continue making some more. So.